Hello guys, welcome back to Service Now 911. I have seen even myself was confused between what is inbound and outbound. So let me explain it the way I learned it. You know what is a web service when two applications are talking to each other, and in that we have an inbound and we have an outbound. So here you see a third-party application, and you see service now application. So when a third-party application is requesting something from service now, in that case that third-party application becomes a service consumer because it want to consume something from service now. it could be some information it could be some data okay and as service now is providing that thing okay as service now is providing that data that information that's why service now is a service provider so you see this is known as inbound web service okay because a request is coming to service now i am talking with respect to service now that is with the perspective of service now okay so for service now this is inbound so inbound means that other applications may call to service now apis to get information from service now or to create update records action could be anything okay the request could be anything it could be asking for a service it could be updating some data into service now that is okay but but the request is generated from this third party that means it is an inbound to service now you see this particular example in this example i have tanium tanium you know it is a kind of uh, end point collection device okay it has tanium console so it has the enterprise data along with it so from tanium i want to move that data into service now okay into service now cmdb so here this tanium is service consumer so the tanium will send a request to service now and service now has to accept the request and then the data will be processed so data will be processed based on all the functions you know the rest api functions like create update read you know all those functions right so using that functions we will update the data into service now cmdb So here the request initiated from Tanium that's why this is inbound to service now Then we come outbound web service it is just opposite to inbound so here what is happening service now application service now act as a consumer it initiates the integration and service now application or instance is requesting something from a third party and that third party will provide it So that's why you see in service now instance you have this soap messages which is under outbound if you open this here you need a whistle from the third party right because we want to consume services from a third party right so that's why we are a consumer here with respect to service now this is service now outbound and the third party which is providing the detail is service provider So just look at the definition outbound means that service now make call to other application api and get information from other applications or to create or update records it means the action could be anything but service now is initiated the request initiated the integration that's why service now is a consumer here so you see in both the cases whoever is initiating is the consumer and whoever is providing that information is the provider so the example of outbound is this when we have some discovered data into service now system and i want to send that data into the tanium console and here i am sending the data so i have to configure the outbound in the system with respect to tanium so here we have outbound integration with respect to service now when we have two way integration it means means both are getting and updating each other in that case we have inbound and outbound together okay so i hope you understand the concept now Let's meet in some different video till then subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and colleagues thank you so much bye bye